Okay, in this example, we're going to run an exploit in Backtrack 5, and then we're going to try to pivot to another victim on the network and exploit a second victim within the remote network. Now, in this example, I'm going to go to my website really quickly. What we're hoping to accomplish here is we're going to attack a visible, let's say, vulnerable client, in this case maybe a server or something like that, typically this is the way it would work, uh, attack coming from across the internet through it to a visible server that by running a server is visible to the internet and then from there pivoting and using this compromised server to attack other machines on the network. So in this example that I'm going to do though, I've actually VPNed into the network so I'm already connected on the network and we're going to attack one computer and then um, exploit that computer and then pivot to launch attacks from that exploited machine to another machine. Okay, so we've got Backtrack here and I've run a remote desktop connection to the first client that we're going to try to run an exploit against. So this is a Windows XP client that I've got set up just for this process, for this example. All right, and I'm going to open up a terminal in Backtrack, and I'll just minimize this window right here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is launch a uh, Metasploit. So I'm going to type in MSF console and give it a second to start up. Okay, now you can see that Metasploit has started, and from here what I can do is I can run a show exploits to look at all of the exploits in the library of Metasploits library and I can scroll through and look through some of these exploits. And you can see here that they have a path to the exploit Windows, IMAP, Novell, Netmail, Subscribe. So this is this is an exploit right here, right? So you could look through here and they're also rated you can see here excellent excellent good average so there's also like a ranking here but I already know the exploit for this example that we're going to use so I'm gonna type in use and it's going to be I'm gonna type in I'll type in Windows slash SMB slash MS 08 underscore 067 underscore net API and I'll hit enter and now you can see that the exploit has been loaded into the command prompt of the MSF console right and so now that you have the exploit loaded you're going to need to uh, choose a payload and for that you can browse the payloads by doing a show payloads command and it loads through all the payloads and you can look through them and find one that's going to work for your situation for this situation we're going to set payload of Windows let's see here we're going to launch the meterpreter which is a very powerful payload it's a um, program shell um, very powerful that will get launched on the victim machine and we'll try to do it through a bind TCP so we'll hit enter and the payload has now been loaded into Metasploit so now we have a payload and what we're gonna do next is do a show options to see what options we need we can see that these options are required some of them have already been set but most importantly these are the um, the uh, exploit options and these are the payload options over here right so exploit options here payload options here and you can see we need a remote host we need to set the IP address of the remote host right the target address so that needs to be set so what we'll do is we'll just say set our host and give it the IP address that we're going to be targeting in this case we're on the network so I just have to put in the IP address that I'm doing. Okay, that's been set. 
All right, and now that this has been set, all I have to do is type exploit to run this exploit and see if we can launch Meterpreter on the remote host. So we'll hit enter. Okay, Meterpreter session one opened. Looks like it worked and we have a Meterpreter prompt on our system over here. If we open up our um, well, let's run a few commands now that we have it open. Uh, first of all, if, if we wanted to, we could instantly, from Meterpreter, drop into a C prompt. And now we have a C prompt on the victim machine. All right, but we're going to do something else. So I'm going to exit and go back to the Meterpreter. And what I'm going to do is I want to do a get PID to see our process ID that we're running Meterpreter on on this remote machine. So we're running it on um, process ID 1028. All right. And what we can do is we can do a PS command, which will run the processes on the remote host. All right. And so these are the processes on the remote host. And you can see here that 1028 is a SVC host.exe running on this remote host. Now if I want I can go to this our desktop right here and actually this is the, the the client machine that we've just exploited and I can just go to the task manager and let's see here we're looking at the processes right here now it doesn't really give you the process ID from this listing right but we can see from our terminal window that 1028 is SVC host. So what we have done is we've dropped Meterpreter and we're running Meterpreter through one of these SVC host processes. But what we're going to do is we're going to show another powerful part of this. We're going to try to try to go into the LSAS.exe process. Okay, so LSAS.exe, we're going to see if we can migrate to this process here. The LSAS.exe is the local security authority subsystem service and it's responsible for enforcing security policies on Windows system. Wouldn't that be great if we could just launch our exploit into that service? So what we're going to do is we're going to look here to see what process ID it's running on. It's running under process 700 and all we'll have to do now is just migrate over to that process. So what we'll do is we'll type migrate 700, hit enter, and we'll see if we can migrate. Okay, and it worked. So now if we do a get PID, you can see that our process ID that we're running under is process ID 700. So that's pretty, that's pretty great. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to background this process, this meterpreter process, and we're going to try to route and attack another host. And we're going to try to pivot and use this Windows client to attack another Windows client on the network. So what we'll do is we'll do a Control Z to background the session. I'll hit Y and Enter. All right, and you can see we brought, we've left the meterpreter session and um, you can see that when I did a control Z it also told me do we want a background session one so that was session one that we were working with we're gonna need that as we try to um, launch a different session okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to route to victim number two so we're gonna type route add and we're gonna put in the second victims IP address Alright, that sounds good. And we're going to also give it a subnet mask. Alright, and then space and the session ID. Alright, so then that was the session ID was 1, so we'll hit enter. Okay, so now that we have our route added, we can try to just go through some of the steps before and see if we can do the same process once again. So what we'll do is I'm using up arrow to scroll through my history and we'll type in use Windows SMB. We'll use the same exploit as before. 
we will set the same payload as before and we'll do a show options all right and what we'll do is we will change the target IP address so we'll do set our host to 192.168.4 this time we'll go to 103 all right and now all we have to do with that set we can do another show options just to verify okay yes we have the right IP address in there all right now all we have to do is type exploit to launch our exploit and try to launch it on a second machine okay it looks like the auto targeting failed so what we can do is give it another try first of all let's see if we can ping this other host from here okay looks like the host is online so we should this should work so what we'll do is whoops let's try once again four dot one oh three exploit we'll give it another shot okay it looks like it worked all it took was a different uh, session you can see down here it says meterpreter session two opened from host 104 4.104 to host 103 and so now we have we've uh, compromised a second system from the first system that we've compromised and we've um, successfully used pivoting to attack a different client we can type help in the interpreter prompt to get a listing of all of the commands that we can run through interpreter all right and what I could do is is I could make a directory on there let's say mkdir make directory hello I left this alright so we'll make a little folder on the system alright we've just created that directory so now what we could do is we could close this our desktop session and launch a new one and see if we can find that alright okay we're in this second client and we're going to look for our folder that we've left alright so we'll go into start computer C drive windows system 32 and you can see there's the folder hello I left this and there's the folder that we created